Can we elaborate clinical depression versus perceived depression? Now, let me tell you. Depression in itself is an illness, which is classified in number of different diagnostic criteria. The point is that it has an intensity issues, as I said, the duration issues, and the severity index. So the point is that if it is sufficiently strong enough mm -hmm. to cause impairment of personal, interpersonal, social, and spiritual life, then yes, we would say that he is suffering with an illness. The point is that how do we know? How do we diagnose? Or what are the criteria? What we can say the patient is depressed. Now, in most of the depressions, it begins with loss of interest. Loss of interest in all or almost all activities. Okay. Then, obviously, a person who has lived a life which is active earlier and suddenly something happened and he started feeling this. He will start feeling helpless. He will start feeling irritable. He is a feeling of worthlessness comes. Negativity creeps in. The sleep is impaired. The appetite is impaired. Relating with people is disturbed. So overall, the impairment of day-to-day -day life activity where a person is not productive and he kind of loses. Complete interest. The person is refusing to get out of his room or refusing to get out of his bed. This is one aspect. Another aspect is that which I consider a very, very significant is there are two types of people who respond differently. You know, people, those who uh, feel that, oh my God, such a miserable life, I don't want to live this miserable life. That is one category. And the other categories are those who are saying, I want to die. <laughs> now, both these parts, clinically, as a professionally qualified person, I would not neglect. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, depression is supposed to be a common word which is mostly misused in terms of psychiatry. You know, people, family members, general, you know, people at large, they, any kind of mental disturbances are there, they will say the patient is depressed. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily. So there are a lot of other mental illnesses which can be possible, which are presenting as so the fact still remains that if depression is genuine in terms of due to an illness, yes, this person needs help. Mm -hmm. And as I said, loss of interest in all, sense of worthlessness, disturb, you know, psychology and physiology functioning. Then yes, it is depression. But more than often, as I said to begin with, that everybody feels depressed. And when they feel depressed, what would they do? Either they will uh, reach out for the help or the family members will do something about it if they are caring and sensitive to what is happening to this person. So what they will do, they will go to somebody, either a let's say, you know, senior member in the family or you know somebody whom they trust or a doctor, a family physician, and what will the patient say? He will say, Sir, I have difficulty in sleep. I don't feel like doing anything. I'm getting bored. I'm not allowed to go out. And I'm feeling hopeless about the situation. Now, under these circumstances, those who are not professionally qualified for this specific function, then Label is put, he is depressed because they don't have time to check out the history for sufficiently long, how long. He should be minimum for a period of 15 days, one month. Then you can even think about it, not otherwise. 
So what happens is that these people go to the doctor. Let us take example, general practitioner. He goes and says all these symptoms. He will say, are you feeling depressed? And the patient says, yes. So by default, they write a prescription. Because they come from a genuine good feeling that no, a patient should not suffer. So they will give medicine, they will sleep, sleep medicine, he is depressed, some antidepressants will be prescribed. Now it reinforces the thought process of the patient. That yes, there is something wrong with him. Mm -hmm. Because I went to the doctor and doctor said that you have to take this medicine. If I have to take medicine, that means I am not well. Now there is another group of patients, let me tell you, they go out for a party and usually we all go through ups and downs. We always feel that, you know, depression, sometimes good mood, sometimes not so good mood. So we went out in a social gathering. And I was very quiet, silent, not paying attention. And my friend comes and asks me this question. Hey, what is wrong with you? Why you are not yourself? So, <laughs> it so happens that next question, next friend will say, are you depressed? Mm. Now, the intelligence is not lost. But he says, oh my God, other people think I am depressed. So, I might as well check out what is depression. Mm -hmm. And as I said, technology is available everywhere. So he will refer Google or Wikipedia or something like that. And he will read, feel hopeless? Yes, I feel hopeless. I have lost interest? Yes. You get no sleep? Yes. So he makes a diagnosis for himself that I am depressed. Mm -hmm. 